Okay, guys, we're here with some Emery Ascendancy PO Urza deck. Let me update the stream decker for everyone. Should be updated, right? Should be exclamation point deck. Yeah, we're mostly updated. I changed a couple cards in the sideboard. One percent on sub goal. We're point five percent. Oh yeah, we're getting there. I think the Ascendancy list is good. I I definitely do. Like I'm gonna just kill my opponent on turn two here. With this hand, I believe. Oh, maybe my opponent's going to kill me on turn one, so it won't matter. Maybe I'll just die on turn one. If I don't die on turn one, I think I'm favored to win on turn two. <laughs> I show up, we go against meme form, of course. How's the ascendancy work? I'll show you. This is fine as well. Just do this. Actually, wait, does that work? Oh wait, yeah, it does, because we just go get Misha's Bobble. Um, blue, uh, red, and then we can get white with this, and then we just kill that way. <laughs> okay, Bobble. Red, white, Jessica Ascendancy, and, oh wait, wait, no, we don't kill anymore, because we had to play the bobble out, so, we don't have lethal here, actually, sadly, because we had to play out the bobble to be able to cast the Ascendancy, so if we didn't play out, no, is there a way to do this, cast Emery, no, it doesn't work with the Jessica Ascendancy, it's whenever you cast an Arc Creature spell. Keep the OG one? Yeah, 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 There's no reason to cast another Emery. So we have lethal for next turn. If we had any zero drop in our hand, then we had lethal, but... Oh, Allosaurus Rider? That's really bad for us. That means they probably have lethal now. Oh, nope, they conceded the game. Okay. Allosaurus Rider was not what they were looking for. They needed, they needed the meme form. <laughs> Let's bring in the counter spells. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Got one steam ends off the flooded strand. Um it wouldn't have changed things because we still needed the white mana off the um off the Mox Opal. Because we yeah, we still needed the white mana off the Mox Opal and we needed to play out the um the the uh the bobble out of the yard to get the white mana. Like, we were going to miss red or white because the Mox Amber could only make blue when we had Island. Um, I think these were the cards that I was cutting before. Blow off Mox Amber. Yeah, no, we used the Flooded Strand to go get the white basic. So, yeah, we needed to wait another turn or find a zero drop on sword. Um, I'll keep this hand. Not particularly quick, unless we find Ascendancy off the top. Hmm. 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 Don't mill ascendancy, please. Ain't you won't. Ooh, I have a feeling the top card was just guy ascendancy. But what can you do? I think my opponent has a turn two or turn three kill here. Got to assume. Oh, there's Neoform on top, so. Yep, okay, well, let's see if they kill. Pay more attention. I was doing something else. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, he could whiff, so might as well let him try. I'm gonna go refill my water bottle and be right back.
Okay. Are we dead yet? Attack for chance of a tangle? Okay. How many nourishing souls so far? Simeon Spirit Guide. That's good for me, I think. Hmm. Are we alive? Did they die? They double summoners packed it, so... Can't really wait. <laughs> okay, opponent. You got me? Or you ain't got me. No more nourishing souls for you. <laughs> serum visions. I'm a fan of serum visions. This one I can beat. <sighs> Opponent, you're boring, man. Give me something good. I'll give him the the unhappy face. And he conceded. Uh, he did the uh <laughs> he's giving me the carrot smiley face. No, he's a good man. Never heard this song, it's good. This is a classic. <laughs> yeah, I only played I've actually played a mirror one time. Oh, white print. Prince is four trophies with uh, Etron, probably. Etron is at least. Teus F has a bunch. Caracho del Mal is Burn. Nahuel 10 is Burn. Why Pritchy is some form of like Etron. FP is Amulet Titan. Let's see who else we got here. CWS is Storm. Bunch of e good. Good chunk of each on top. Oh, waiting on the SCG announcement for next year. And for when you're, when me and you. Oh yeah, we'll we'll team probably at some point. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna keep this in. Dolphin Bat. I feel like I recognize Dolphin Bat. What decks are the top three trophy leaders right now? I'm told Mateus F plays um plays Etron. Aspiring Spike, I believe, has been playing Grixis Control for at least three of his trophies. Played a blue white Delver Blade deck for one trophy, and I don't know about the other one. I don't know what Shantan plays. He usually plays aggro decks of some sort. So I'll it from modern to standard. Probably not going to play it then. Okay, give me a zero drop artifact off the top. And then we get a really go. So close. I'm still going to play this out in case they um, aren't Etron. against Tron again okay guess we do this do this and then um we don't actually have the straight combo but we're definitely not doing bad, and even if this Emery dies, um, we get to Urza next turn. I played Bug Karn last league, got destroyed as Urza. Oh, okay. Okay, now we should have Lethal. Red, white, blue. 
I guess we can just do this. Play this out. Kill you. Um, yeah, sure. You have removal. I kill you. You're out of luck. I'm out of time. Okay, let's do auto yield. Auto yield. Do no. Do this. Go off. Easy peasy. Okay, let's move everything over here. Nope. Do this. You should bobble. Another opponent not willing to concede feels feels bad, man. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this out. Okay, they conceded. Thank God. <laughs> so if they're on just they're on regular Tron or Etron, I'm just gonna guess they're on regular Tron and just bring in ceremonious rejection. Cut this. Mm hmm Do this. Bring a needle. Cut a side. You're not around. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's just easy peasy. Just kill your opponent on turn three. Sometimes turn two, you know. You know how it is. Would have been a turn two kill if I drew a zero drop artifact of some sort. Would have been nuts. <laughs> okay. This hand is pretty bad, so we're gonna mulligan it. This hand looks pretty nice to me. I'm gonna ditch EE. -E. If he is on Etron, just like Tron's on zero, or um, Chalice on zero is me, we're in a pretty bad. I thought he was gonna tr uh, get me good there with the uh, zero ball. Out of touch. Mad time. Let's every here, see what we find. Just do this here. Wait, that was a big mistake. But hopefully we won't get punished. Or someone would have just killed me turn two high roll. So I guess we're gonna name Karn the Greek Creator. Or not Karn the Greek Creator, Karn Liberated. <laughs> Karn liberated. Probably should have done this first, but it ended up not mattering. I'm fine with doing this. Don't really want Sahili. We get Sacred Foundry and then pass. He has Karn the Great Creator, that sucks, but that's life. Urza is good. We can also peel with the Mox Amber and the Mox Opal. Uh, Thought not Seer. Okay. Now he has to set between Urza and Pio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we took Urza. That's interesting. That's definitely very interesting to me. We can also Emery get back Bobble. So we got another Ursa here. So if we Mox Amber Ursa, get back Bobble, play Mox Opal. <laughs> so let's see. Let's start with Mox Amber. If we play Ursa out, we're then gonna have one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna have two more mana. I think that's fun. 
blue, blue. Or, hmm. We want one more card or one more mana. If we get the third mana, we may be able to just kill with Jeskai Ascendancy. So let's see. But, no, I think we just want this bauble. I think we want another card over a mana here. This blue, 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 and PO these back to our hand. <laughs> yeah, we also have a land drop, so that's pretty big as well. So I guess we just get to go again. Another PO. Seems pretty good. Blue, 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 PO again. See what we can end up finding with it. Didn't really find anything. Drew a lot of air. I think I still need to name Karn Liberated with this. Hmm. Then I guess we just pass the turn. Found Jeskai Ascendancy there. Would we have been able to win? I don't think so. It would have been very close. Actually, no, we would have won because we would have had. No, would we have? So we do this, this. I guess this, 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 and then. No, it's not quite there. Maybe picking up Emery was correct with at least one of those. But I guess we didn't have the third. And then we could have played out like Emery one of the times. Could we have? No, I don't think so, actually. Well, I'll take four. Yet, Ulamog. Pretty rough for us that they got Ulamog. So I guess we're losing Emery and Urza. Yeah. That is rough. That is very rough. Especially since we drew all nothings here. Let's see. I should have tapped my mountain for that, but it doesn't quite matter. EE -E doesn't do anything. But we're going to see multiple just guy sentences here. We don't. Okay. Basically, I have one more turn. Wait, why did I not block with my construct on the Thought Not Seer? I guess it doesn't really matter. Hmm. I guess we just pass. Because it was tapped? Oh, yeah, yeah, because it was tapped. It was tapped. Yep. You guys are right. I don't think we can... Well, I guess we can win if we just draw um, Jeskai Ascendancy and they don't have anything. Hmm. <laughs> see. Still have two Jeskai Ascendancies in our deck. Not bad. Don't think I'm supposed to block. I think I'm just supposed to take 10. If he has Walking Ballista, then I was dead to it anyways because it gets rid of the Emery. So we've got 2 out of 8. Burn is hard. I'm married to copying the modular deck and playing Itch's Claims. Um, I think just playing Timely Reinforcements is fine. Or possibly even better thing. It's just that they have a lot of things. They really have an Ulamog. A second Ulamog? Wow. Okay. Yep, second Ulamog does it. I wonder if we were going to draw Jessica. But the fact is, that means 
all four of our just guys tendencies were in the bottom um 13 or 14 cards of our deck it's pretty unlucky but what can you do um i like metallic rebuke in this matchup a lot take out nexus of fate and a sahili i think keep it the same probably seems good flexibility with colors yeah, I guess we do have Mox Opaline and Arkham's Astrolabe, but I definitely don't want other basics in my deck, I think. Hmm. I'm going to mulligan the sand. It's pretty close, I would say. Sand, I like them a lot more. I'm going to just go turn one Astrolabe and then move from there. Well, they have to cut Mox Amber here. They're down to six. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to keep that first hand. It's kind of close. Astrolabe. Could just be on still some weird variant that plays Chalice of Boys, so I might as well just play out my Mox Opal. I'm going to pivot Needle the Expedition map pretty easily. Expedition map. And then next turn we get to Urza. And then go for like a PO the next turn after that. Especially if they needed Expedition map to go get Tron. It's very good for us. So it looks like is what they needed. So here, that's the turn. I guess we could have gotten rid of a land, but you know, you never can truly know if you can just get rid of a land, especially on a two lander. I just have to dismember here. No, okay. Natural Tron Inc. That would feel really, really up. That'd be fairly upsetting. But there's not much you can do about that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, opponent. What you gonna do here? Fipples, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. I am trying to get up to Ooh, Fipples with the Twitch Prime sub too. Damn. Fipples, thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. There we go. The sub goal inching up ever so slightly. I know I I did have a plan to do something at 50 subs, 100 subs, 200 subs. If I can hit that over this October, where I'm going to be streaming every single day. Ooh, Fleek, Fleece Cowboy, thank you for the follow. He had Natural Tron, of course, and just slow rolled it like a maniac. Oh, is he just going to go get... Wait, what is this? What is he getting here? The minus. That slow roll of Natural Tron is pretty nuts. I can't imagine why he would slow roll Natural Tron. But it does feel pretty bad. I was thinking about playing mine or not. <laughs> that slow roll is pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. Yeah, but I do... Yeah, I want to ensnaring bridge. Sure, that just doesn't matter. Hmm, 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 hmm. I just need to play this correctly and attack Karn first before I do anything. Attack Karn. Like Dolphin Bat. Sucks that we took out the Nexus of Fate. But I think we should be putting ourselves in a good enough spot for next turn. Unless they have exactly O stone, which we should be able to beat with the needle. Let's play Psy. Hmm. 
Walks Opal. Well, we're pitting the old PO, yeah. Now we can just name something else. We can filter Snowman through the Astrolabes here. It's nice. We can draw some extra cards. I'll probably just Pithing Needle name O-Stone. We actually have a way to bounce this. How do we sideboard? We don't, I don't think. Oh no, we have EE. We have EE in our deck, so we can find that after a bit. Oh no, we have EE in our hand. What am I talking about? Mm hmm. Name Oblivious Oblivion Stone, I think. There's not much else that I really care about. Oblivion Stone. Let's tap this. This. Sacrifice both of these. Draw a card. Vicious Bobble sets up for even more draws. Oh no, I don't need this. I need to do this. Sacrifice, Thopter, and a Bobble, I think. Mox Amber, so that means I can do this. This. Sacrifice, Mox Amber, and Thopter. We can go off. Get some more guys. Draw some more cards. Let's do this. Draw a card. Does Jeskai Ascendancy do it for us? We don't quite have the mana here. Hmm. How do we want to proceed now? Kind of just like eating for zero. Continuing that way. I think we're going to draw another card here and see what's going on. Hmm. I think I'm going to EE for zero here because we have two more EEs in our deck. I can tap both of these. Sacrifice these to draw a card. Another EE. Okay. Hmm. Need to find like Mox Opal, play Ascendancy, and then it doesn't really do much. So what do you want to do? Yeah, no, I know I sided out in EE. Hmm. What do we do now? I think I'm just supposed to pass the turn. Just gonna pass the turn here. Drawing a lot of lands there, sadly. My next here, okay. Stern's okay. Let's see what they end up finding. Chromatic Star, that's fine. I possibly messed up that turn. Should have been going for like Urza's oversize. Next turn we get an Ascendancy and then like truly go off. Okay. They decided to concede, which is nice of them. If I have missed, I may have actually like missed. It would have been really unfortunate, but I think I would have actually missed on that turn. Yeah, I would have wished so much. Eh, maybe I would have lost that game, actually, if he didn't concede there. But he did. So, feels good, man. <laughs> so 
Okay, well, we're 2 0. Can't really complain about that. I feel like I've played against Dolphin Vet before. Let me take a look at my thing over here. Dolphin. No, I guess that was my only time playing against them. Or at least on this computer. Or at least on this um, iteration of Moto on this computer, which only holds since January of this year, which is sad. Because I had so many more matches from last year that it held beforehand. <laughs> wonder how many matches I've actually played, like, on this computer this year. It's definitely a lot. You think PO is better than Thopter Sword? IRL, not just Moto? Probably. Like, you just, um. Like, the, uh. Thopter Sword variant loses to Rest in Peace, and this just gets to attack on, like, infinite different, um. Ax axes. Never played against Cubs fans, surprisingly. I feel like I haven't recognized his name. I don't Mulligan before, so that's gonna help us out. Yeah, decks that can win on turn two and, like, also do other things seems pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, they're on Mulligan to four. Let's see what they're doing. Maybe they're on Dredge. They're on Valakut. Wow, and they're showing me that? Okay. So I guess we get to bring in, like, Metallic Rebukes. That's, like, kind of it. Surprised they didn't, just didn't play anything and, like, waited for me to do stuff. I guess they could still win this game. It's unlikely, but it's possible. The first Jewish person to listen to this song. <laughs> I don't know about that one. It seems a little ambitious, Smurf. In my eye. Country roads. Well, playing out that Mox Amber and Misha's Bobble definitely got punished there. Let's do this on ourselves. Emery. I think I like Emery. I think I want to draw Emery. Especially because we can play it for one and then play outside because of the Mox Amber. I'll just fetch now, I think. Get Sacred Foundry tapped. Yeah, just getting able to play like eight mocks in your deck is like pretty busted. Hmm. It took us a bit to bust Mox Amber, but we definitely did it finally. Take me home to the place I belong. Let's play outside. Play out Emery. Play out Bobble. Oh no, we lost an Ascendancy. Feels bad, man. I'm a fan of just playing out EE for zero as well. Here. I'm just passing the turn. I think we want to keep the Bobble in play. So if we play Urza here, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. It'll be a sixth. So like any zero drop artifact, or actually one drop artifact gets us there. Basically any artifact out of our deck makes it so we can Nexus and fate them. Any land also does it, yeah. Down country room. Oh yeah, we also just can do this. Another bobble here. Play a bobble, get a side trigger. Tantalite mox, yeah, there's gotta be probably some way to bust that open too. Okay, they've seen enough. They've seen enough. Have you broken this deck already? Well, someone else broke it. I slightly altered some of the uh, sideboard cards. But deck feels uh, really, really broken so far. We need to kill on the same turn with Next of Fate. Hmm. Don't think we want Sahili. Do we want Nexus of Fate? That's the real question here. Do we want Nexus of Fate against Titan? 
I guess we do. So yeah. Only two so yeah. Cause like science and Healy kinda do the same thing while also making it so you don't just like get screwed over by having too many legendary permanents and also having both is like pretty nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um hmm. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's pretty slow. Doesn't do much, but it does have like a counter spell, which I'm kind of excited about. Search for Mario sucks for us. Hard to do through the music. Okay, let me turn down the music a bit. Let me turn up the gain on my Actually, let me just turn down the music this way. That should be fine. Better I'd be the trophy leader. <laughs> and Strassler, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Play out these so I can Metallic Rebuke. <laughs> Consistency was your four winning with. Yeah, that used that was like me when uh, Dredge came out, like with Creeping Chill. I think I 4 won like 9 leagues in a row before getting a 5-0. It was crazy. I'm just gonna Metallic Rebuke this. <laughs> oh, was, I used to be the, the only 4-1 stream, but... Oof, that's really good. If you can find something to like do with it. Four weeks up four one above thirty times. Damn, that's a lot. It's definitely a lot of times. <laughs> Far seek again, okay, that's fine. That is fine. Oof. That was like the worst draw on our deck, besides I guess another Mox Mox Amber. We needed like any other zero drop artifact to like make this good or like Emery. Emery could have been really good too, turning on Mox Ambers at least. But at least we're not dead yet. It's almost like Mox is crazy. <laughs> what is this? Scare Tri Builder. Okay, that's fine. Land me dealer. Land me or zero drop me. That that works. That works. Why am I getting tryhard seven? What happened? What happened? So I guess we do blue this this. Play this. Blue Urza. Tryhard seven mean it is um very bad. Let's just say that. Very not good. Fry. Of all things, Fry. Damn. Fry? Fry plays. Fry plays, sadly. It is, um... So, here's the story of what Tryhard 7 is. So, originally, people who wanted to be racist would just spam Tryhard in chats. Because it's like, oh, whenever a black person would come on, um, like an esports event, people just spam Tryhard. It's like, haha, black person, black emote, haha. We're so, we're so funny and creative, we're Twitch chat. So then, um, since that just became like a meme and everyone did it regardless of being racist or not, people went like, okay, a group of people said, okay, to truly show that we are racist, like, that, that we mean we're racist, um, we're gonna say try hard seven. That's how you know who the real racists are compared to the not real racists. Like, the people memeing would just say try hard, but the people who are racist are gonna do try hard seven. That was, um... That's how it was explained to me. And then people just do like come on bro as well for like the tryhard effect type of thing. But now, um, tryhard seven is just a meme as well. So it like kind of changed. So it's like, it's again just changed into like doesn't mean anything basically. Yeah. So it's like because like even in a. Uh, you know who Trihex? This is actually a really bad Mox Amber, if I think about it, like even a tiny bit. Um. So even don't you want to hold up Rebuke for Titan? 
Um, yes, but I also need to get this Jeskai Ascendancy down, I think. Because, like, they could just have a uh, escape shift and then Rebuke doesn't do anything. Sure, sure, Marlo, sure, that's fine. But so, yeah, so now Tryhard 7 doesn't even, like, mean anything, basically. Because even in, like, uh, Trihex's chat, who the originator of it, some of, like, his long, one of his long-time subs is literally, I always try hard 7 or something like that. So, like, he even, like, embraces the meme now. It's just, like, really weird. Very weird. Damn. It's really unfortunate. Things that you know about random Twitch history. Basically, code of time is falling. Or you're just, like, spamming what everyone else is spamming along with you. That fry was rough. Because I definitely would have this win with that if that, was, that fry didn't happen. But yeah, like, if people try hard 7, it's like 90% of the time they're memeing and know, like, something about, like, Twitch history kind of things. And the other 10%, they're just being racist. But it's actually probably significantly less than 10%. I'm the board of Amulet. I think Fry is good. But it was very good there against me. I'm really not bad here. Thing is, Kurt Tribal just eats Emery. They're going to get a mountain. Okay, that's good that that's happening. Fry doesn't kill Oko. <laughs> that's true. I haven't really played against Oko nearly at all. Shoot me, okay, sure. I bet this will just mill a bunch of lands or something, or spells to be able to cast. Paradoxical outcome with. This may just be another fry in their hand that's gonna shoot down Emery. Nope, oh, there is at least a good chunk of things that were good there. Yep, lightning bolt, okay, I'm sure. Surprised they didn't like lightning bolt with uh, Steve to like kill the construct. Okay, aspiring spike spiked it on me. Uh, sometimes you get oak code, you know? Dramatic Vista, okay, that's good for me. Go get, um, I guess just island. Let's do blue, sure. Bring these back. Yep, let me get an ascendancy. Plus, turn my titans into three threes. I mean, yeah. I assume you'd beat it once you get the Titan out. Get risen to 3 3s? Damn. Getting bolted? That sucks. Well, it's dead now. Hmm. I guess we get rid of Mox Opal. Huh. Gotta be some way to win this turn, I'd have to assume. I don't know how to do it, but there's probably some way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Metallic doesn't do anything. Haze taps. <laughs> no, we have, um... Actually, no. I think I just want to... Stop at this point. Oh, he just conceded. Okay, thank you, opponent. I don't know why they conceded. They definitely weren't dead. They were probably dead next turn, like 99%, but they had a draw step to escape shift. Titan wasn't going to kill me, but escape shift was. Okay, sure. Easy peasy, guys. I knew I could kill that turn. I just had to figure out the line. Freaked me out when listed lyrics. <laughs> Uh, I did take it a pill in EB zone. That's how my opponent punted it off. Oof. I have 100 IRL at 33 cents. 100 what? Concession line is definitely a good one. It made me, made easier for me. I stepped that game up. 
Because I like just don't trophy. I just four one. Just take some time to run it through Lee. So I paired off so I can tell it gets banned. Trust me, I know very little about this deck. There are probably many more people who are significantly better at it in um that stream. I just basically am a button clicker. Only play it. This is my fourth league with it, I think. Luis Enrique Bimbo. Huh. This hand seems fun. Turn one Emery. Goddamn button clicker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can go turn one Arkham's Astralo, Bobble, Bobble, Mox, Opal, Emery. How often do I Emery on turn one? If I have it in my hand, nearly always. Pretty hard not to be able to Emery on turn one. Mm-hmm. Okay, opponent opponent mulligans to five. That's good for me. Opponent's definitely mulliganing a lot this this league. We'll not deny that. Okay, so they put two on the bottom, sure. I also got really lucky against the, the Neoform guy as well, so that helped. And Astrolabe. Okay, well we get a kill on turn two if our Emery survives. So we've got that going for us. Hmm. No real reason to play out the other bobble right now, I don't think. This is my Neoform killing me on turn one on the play, one and three. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, my opponent is dead. Feels bad for them. Red, blue, white, just guy ascendancy, and you're dead on turn two opponent. Unless you've got Dismember, you are dead. Salting off? No, they're just saying. Uh, they said that they've played against me before, but I don't think they've played against me before. <laughs> okay, we got him. No, he's just, he said he thinks he's played against me, and I said, oh no, you haven't, because I checked through my logs. So it looks like he's on infect of some sort, so I'm gonna bring in Galve Blast. Mm -hmm. E seems pretty good. <laughs> Says he's four zero. He's like the second time he got me, but I don't have him on my on my list. Might be affinity. Do you have opponent a chance? No, I'm gonna just bring in the Gal Bless. I think. Really like just making. I may cut a Sahili. And then just cut like a witching well. Size seems pretty good. Making a bunch of 1 1 flyers at least. Tempted to bring in Pithing Needle, but I don't know how to sideboard, so we're just not going to do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, this hand seems pretty bad on the draw. <laughs> Sand seems pretty good to me. Gotta go Island, Astrolabe, Bobble, Mox, Opal. 
and play out Emery. Hmm. Guess we'll ditch Mox Amber here. <laughs> Listen your elf. Okay. Well, we could just be dead on turn one, too. So I'm probably not going to block. Okay, um, so we get this. Sorry, my opponent was asking for my deck list, and I just wanted to tell him how he could get it. Oh, we drew the Mox Amber anyways. Feels good that we bottomed it. Ah, we milled the Just Guy's Tendency. Feels bad, man. Showing off the 80 words for a minute. <laughs> my typing is fast-ish. Definitely above 60 words all the time, but, hey, you know, that's a stretch. When I used to play Type Racer all the time in high school when I was bored with my friends. I would sometimes get up to 100 when I was trying to jam. My friend is like, whenever I'd get up to 100, he'd just go up to 120 and just crush me. I was sad. <laughs> I will definitely not block, especially he didn't attack, and he... What is my opponent doing? Okay, um... I'll bobble them. I can use this to, you know, turn on the Mox Opal again if need be. Huh. So I guess we just have Urza here. I'll, I'll play Urza. Like a solid 20. <laughs> I'm a fast one at typing, to say the least. Let's do this. Let's tap this. This. And this. Place the Healy. This seems like a fair turn. I'm going to screenshot this one and say fair turn three, right? What do you guys think? Let's, let's do the old snipping. Fair turn two, I mean. Oh, the Centrist Deliverance? Sure, that's fine. <laughs> sure, that's fine. I'll just be jumping with Servo. He's not even attacking. Okay, that's fine with me. See what he's got going on. Dude, smash my keyboard for eight minutes. Smash the whole computer with sledgehammer out of frustration. God damn. Okay, Mox Amber, sure. So let's see. I think I want to start off with doing this. Play my land. Maybe I'm not supposed to play my land, but I want to start off with this. See if I can find anything good. That's a really good one. Um, hmm. We also have E for one, yeah. But we're going to do this first. I'll just return these for then figure out where I'll go from there with the EE. We should have tapped this for mana. OK. 
Okay. So it looks like we've got Emery Ascendancy. White, red. Let's make another servo. Pick it up with PO. Oh yeah, E for zero would have been correct. Yeah, you are you are definitely right about that. But I think we've just got this one now. Um, so we put it on the stack like this. Blue, blue. Now we just go pretty big, I would have to say. Let's do this, this, um, this, yeah, I think we've got them here, boys. What do you guys think? GG, well played. Let's make it so we can play this, and he is conceded. No, he GG'd us, he GG'd us. Yeah, this seems like a reasonable deck, I would say. Uh, Reasonable, reasonable deck, reasonable deck. What was my screenshot that I had? I literally just had it. Desktop, just made the screenshot. Oh, fair turn to play. There we go. Now we can tweet it out. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Paint it, paint it black. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to get another easy 5 0. This deck is just. Absolutely busted. I got a 5 earlier off stream. I was kind of paying attention. Now I'm like not even going full. Hmm. It's crazy. Just so crazy. How sick. We're running. Oof. <laughs> hmm. Who's gonna who's gonna show up for my five oh? Who's gonna show up to try and take me down? <laughs> <laughs> that seems absolutely busted. That's what it seems like to me. I think we found the new tier zero. No, you do have great hands that just can't cast a spell. Oof, I'm gonna mulligan this hand too. So I kept seven. I'll keep this. I think I'm gonna ditch. Hmm. Ditch PO and Mountain. And then play out both of these to play around um like both Inquisition and Chalice on Zero. Don't worry, you missed out on a deck that was probably even worse than this in Hogak. And then um how's it going? Bim Bira. Oh, you're on Infect. It's nice to see you. Sorry, I had to just have, like, the nutso hands. Yep. Played around the Inquisition perfectly. Easy peasy. Okay. Emery's not a bad hit. Do you believe you have the best sleeper in modern? Well, a couple people figured this out, sadly. But, um, people who haven't yet, uh, will slowly figure out that this is the best deck, I think. Deck's better than Hogak. Um, no, I think Hogak is better because Hogak... Hogak was consistently putting out turn 2 Hogak on turn 2 60% of the time. I think you had more turn 2 slash 3 kills with Hogak. 
It's my best guess. Dismember? That's no fair. That's no fair at all. Okay, I'll take another Emery. I'll go get fetch planes here for now. Lost the Sacred Foundry, sadly. Hopefully we don't lose our red source and steam vents. Oh. Bim Beera, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I think this deck will get a banning. I hope it makes it so Urza is banned. Because Urza is what makes this deck truly busted. Because without it, like, you don't really have a good mana engine. I mean, you still have, like, Emery Ascendancy kills, but, like, that's whatever, I think. The truly busted things are, um... Or like Urza with the Ascendancy and other things. My opponent's hand was pretty goddamn nutted and I'm only into five, so. We are minimal outs to say the least. That's not exactly what I was looking for. Actually, I should be playing this out. Because I could just have a discard spell. But I don't. Actually, no, I should play it out because then I can draw Psy and play this. Then we can actually, like, try and win the game. Does just have Team of Battle Rage? No, okay, we're not quite dead. Okay, we're just dead. Well, Grixis Shadow seems, with that hand, with double discard spell, even though they whiffed on the first one, double removal spell, Death Shadow. Seems pretty nice for them, I would say. I actually kind of like Teferi here, because I just got to, like, bounce their things. He seems... Oh, I guess I could have just drawn E for one, unless he had, um, Stubborn Now. I don't think I need Nexus of Fate here. Which, well, I don't quite want. Not in Mox Amber. Yeah, I think this is fine. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if our opponent can have that good of a hand again. I hope they do not. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, this is turn one Emery, so I'm a fan of that. I guess we'll go Bobble, Amber, Emery, right? And then I think we'll EE for one. EQM Racing, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Wrong month, change song. <laughs> Bobble? Bobble's no fun. Who has fun playing Bobble? Higher? I can't only turn the turn the volume up so much or else it just muffles my voice. Don't fatal push me, please. Inquisition, okay, you got my Arkham's Astrolabe. I didn't get a Bobble in time. Sadly, because I have six, but it should be fun nonetheless. Kind of want to play this out anyways. Um, yeah, I'll just play this tapped. Pass the turn, and then I'll bobble them. Should have played out the land they knew about. I also should have bobbled myself with fetch land. That was also a mistake. See, as, as I said, I'm definitely not the best with these decks. Definitely not the best bobble player, I can tell you that much. Sometimes you remember. Mm hmm. Let's see, what do they got here? Thought Scour? Okay, so they're Grimagging, I guess. Oh, Fatal Pushing, that's no fun. It's no fun or fair. 
They're gonna draw their card first off Bobbles. So lucky. Should have played Vista to go get planes, I think, but it doesn't really matter all that much, I think. Man, if they didn't have the removal spell, I actually would have top decked lethal. That would have been nuts. Actually, yeah, no, it would have been lethal because I just get the bobble and then just go off. Yeah, haste cap. But maybe we're supposed to play a, a lightning greaves in the deck. It's obviously the correct answer to to our problems here. <laughs> just play that. Just played it untapped. Playing angler now. <laughs> Urza wouldn't necessarily be a bad draw either. Jason's Prodigy, okay. Something good. Okay, there's Emery. Thing is, they're guaranteed to dismember if they have like any way to put a card into the yard. Which sucks. <laughs> they want Swiss Spear for Ace Threat. Seems a little bit sketch. Though I have played my fair share of Swiss Spear and, and Just Guy Sentences in the same uh, deck. <laughs> Just remember again, come on, give me a break here. Give me a break here. Give me a chance at least. Ditch Swamp, so lucky. Like a minus or plus? That's the real question. See if I have anything in my hand. I assume I would have like played already. Forex Greaves sideboard plan. These would have been nuts in this matchup. I can tell you that much. Okay. Let's draw a non-land card, please. I should have cracked my E there, but here we are not doing that. I think we want to cycle here. Sack this. Let's play Astrolabe. Let's draw a discard. Definitely would like EE over land. Mm -hmm. Path. Need Emery to get haste, not to put rando haste creatures in the deck. <laughs> if Emery had haste. Whew, man, that card would be busted. Damn, Inquisition feels bad. I guess they minus four it, so it's not doesn't it makes that it makes a little bit of sense. I thought about just putting it down for one, but I wasn't feeling it. I think anger is legal now with the um I've got a feeling there's land on top of our deck instead of nuts. So I'm gonna mill it. Oof. That card was definitely not the nuts, but it was definitely a good one. We're gonna do it on their turn so that we um so that we don't uh, get like inquisitions or thought seized. Was this just Snapcaster Mage? No, it's just is it K Command? It'd be kind of weird too. Uh, I assume we were like incredibly far behind unless we draw something like Urza. This K Command, destroy Mox Amber. Okay. Oh, no, I just messed that up really badly. Just played it on the worst possible time. Okay, didn't get punished, luckily. Okay, well, we're just dead anyways. I think we got kind of unlucky in this matchup, where they had, like... 
really, they have very, very good hands with like double discard, double removal spell, threat, like the baubles and everything. Like, I think their hands were just extraordinarily good there. Okay. Let's open up our five chests. Ren and 60, please. Goblin Guide. Perfrey Nodes, maybe. Let's see how much is a Goblin Guide. <laughs> they drew like the removal spells on the turns that they needed them as I was gonna like go off the next turn. Right, Goblin Guide's not the worst, I think. Goblin Guide has two tickets. I think we're lost tickets on opening that, but not by much. Well, if you are here from YouTube, thank you for watching. If you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch for live gameplay. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.